Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java tutorial and this is about solving the assignment problem to validate the password. We are working with some rules for the password validation that the password should contain at least two uppercase letters, at least three lowercase letters and at least one digit. We got to continuously reprompt the user for an input as long as uh, I mean like till the user does not meet the criteria and then display some kind of a message to see if the password is valid one. Otherwise, if it's not valid, then continuously ask the user. So based on these rules that we have to establish, we're going to be defining some constants. And as you know, that constants are declared with the keyword final in Java. So we'll be declaring some constants, which will be for uppercase letters, we need at least two. Lowercase letters, we need at least three. And we need at least one digit. Then we're going to be declaring some variables that will keep track of the upper count, the lower count, the digit count, and the letter count. In case if we want to um, have the total number of uh, digits, including the letters and everything. So we're going to be uh, using some variables for that purpose. So we have an upper count, we have lower count and digit count and letter count. Now, um, as we generally accept an input from the user through console, through a scanner object, so we're gonna be bringing in a scanner object, you gotta make sure that you organize your imports and you gotta start taking an input from the user. So for that purpose, we're gonna be using a string object for that purpose. So that will be used to accept an input from user using the scanner object next line. So this will be just the initial process of accepting the information from user. We will be grabbing the complete length of this string integer input length equals to input dot length. So that will going to give us the entire length of the input string. Now what I, what I need to do, the reason I need to grab the complete length is because I will be going through this entire string and then I will be grabbing one letter at a time out of the string and I will going to be matching to see if that letter is a lowercase if it's an uppercase or if it's a digit. As you uh, learn in the chapter, character class, which is one of the wrapper classes, has built-in functions to check for is uppercase, is lowercase, and is digit. So we're gonna be using that. So let's get started with the loop, which will run through the length of the entire string so I should be less than input length and we're going to increment the loop counter by one in each iteration. Now the first thing is we need to extract one letter out of the string at a time which we'll be uh, doing with the help of the care at function. So we'll be declaring a character variable which will go to the input string and we're going to grab one letter at a time, starting at the zeroth position, and we'll go all the way to length minus one. As we extract this letter in the character variable, now we have to run through a bunch of if conditions to make sure that if it is uppercase, then increment the upper count by one. If it is lowercase, increment the lower count by one. If it's a digit, increment the digit count by one. And then we will check to see if the upper count is greater than or equals to the minimum number of upper count letters. And if the lower count letter is at least that much, and if the total number of digits is at least that much, if that is the case, we'll say the password is valid. If that is not the case in our else statement, then we got to see what is wrong with this password. The password 
has not met the lowercase limitation or has not met the uppercase limitation or has not met the digits limitation, what exactly is it missing? So we're gonna be providing a user with that information that the password did not have enough of the following. The, either it was not having enough uppercase letters or it was not having enough lowercase letters or if it was not having enough digits. So that basically what we're looking at in this basic simple example where we declare a bunch of variables and constants, we accept an input from user and we check to see if it matches the basic criteria that is set by the user. So now let's test this program. So as we run this program, we will be asked to enter an input. Now one thing that I did not put in this, which is considered to be an, uh, a logical error, is I forgot to give some kind of a message to the user. So I'm gonna just do that. Sys out is a shortcut. You just press and hold control and hit a space bar to fill the rest. I'm gonna write my message here. Enter your password. And if you want to get a little bit more uh, fancy with it, you can actually give the list of the items to the user that it should have at least these many uppercase, these many lowercase, you could do that. Okay, let me, let me run it again, enter your password. So I'm gonna enter an invalid password. So I'm gonna enter two lowercase, one uppercase and no digit. So it comes back and it tells me that the problem with your password was related that to all three criteria. It didn't meet any of the three criteria. Okay, so I'm gonna run it again. Now I'm going to enter two uppercase, two lowercase and one digit. So it tells me that you have problem with the lowercase letters, you did not meet the criteria. So now let me meet the complete criteria and now it says that the password is valid. So anyway, it's a short brief tutorial where it accepts a password from the user and after it accepts a password from the user, it just goes through the entire length of the string, extracting one letter at a time and checking to see if that letter is an uppercase, lowercase or a digit and incrementing the count of those variables by one. And outside of the body of the loop on line number 28, uh, all the way through uh, line number 38, we are uh, making our final outputs that if it meets the minimum criteria to valid password, if it doesn't, then it doesn't. So that's pretty much how you will going to be coding this program. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and this particular problem really makes sense to you. Take care guys, have a good one, bye-bye.